Chelsea vs Juventus, Champions League preview. Helsia entertained Juventus tonight in a huge Champions League clash at Stamford Bridge. Thomas Tuchel's Premier League leaders trailed the Serie A giants by three points with two rounds of fixtures remaining, having endured a rare slip-up in Turin back in September. That was preceded by a loss to Manchester City, but the reigning European champions have been firing on all cylinders since then, brushing aside all before them in every competition, frustrating 1-1 draw with Burnley aside. Chelsea will be eager to inflict revenge on a Juventus side that have endured an extremely disappointing campaign by their usual high standards. Massimiliano Allegri's side currently sit 8th in Italy's top flight and 11 points off the title pace, but they have bounced back from successive defeats in the space of three days in late October to record three straight victories against Zenit, Fiorentina, and Lazio. Chelsea vs Juventus is scheduled for an 8pm GMT kickoff tonight, Tuesday, November 23, 2021. The match will take place at Stamford Bridge. TV channel, Tuesday's match will be televised live on BT Sport 2 and BT Sport Ultimate, with coverage beginning at 7.15 p.m. Live stream, BT Sport subscribers will be able to watch the match online via the website or BT Sport app. You can follow all the action with Standard Sports Live blog. Chelsea's I, Mendy, Chalaba, Thiago Silva, Rudiger, James, Jorginho, Conte, Chilwell, Ziyech, Pulisic, Hudson Otoy. Subs, Kipa, Bettinelli, Alonso, Azpilicueta, Christensen, Saar, Barkley, Loftus-Cheek, Saul, Mount, Lukaku, Werner. Juventus Zai, Cesny, Cuadrado, Bonucci, De Ligt, Sandro, Bentanker, McKinney, Locatelli, Rabiot, Chiesa, Morata. Subs, Arthur, Dybala, Keane, Pinsoglio, Rugani, Perrin, Kulusevski, De Winter. Burnley draw aside, Chelsea have been utterly ruthless since their two-game blip that included that uncharacteristic loss in Turin. A four-point lead at the Premier League summit despite having been without Lukaku for several weeks is testament to both the strength and depth of the squad and Tuchel's obvious co-